boom, technology. How'd you do it? M magic. <laughs> I do all my best work horizontally. Bad. <laughs> True. Hey, welcome back to Geek Pulse. How was your weekend? And we sound great. We look great. We feel great. Hopefully y'all felt great too. So you know how it works. But if you don't, Nerdy Dustin, fill them in while I drink some energy drink. Yeah, if you're joining us for the first time here at Geek and Hangout, this is where we just hang out at the end of the week. We talk movies. Uh, but before we get into all that fun stuff, the movie questions, things like that, we just like to talk to each other about how our week went and uh, any new movies that we saw, any new things that we uh, did. Uh, so this week, big news this week is I got to bring my son home from the hospital. You got a baby uh, in the house. So that's been amazing. Um, I've been a father now for the past month and a half, but he's been in the NICU. Now he's home. So it's been uh, no sleep. <laughs> so you went to Nickelodeon um, University? Uh, what? You went to Nickelodeon University? The NICU. Yeah, Nickelodeon University. Oh, yeah, I guess, sure. Um, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> the NCIU. Yeah. Um, no, it's been great having him here. Um, we watched, um, I've been watching TV with him. He watched The Mandalorian with me. Um, he didn't cry, so I think he likes it. <laughs> Speaking of Mandalorian... New episode came out this week. It was fantastic. Uh, I cried a little bit. What part? Um, you can tell them. People watched it. Oh, spoil I, I won't say who. A certain character is uh, passes on. John Favreau. And, and it is, uh, it's very sad. He's one of my favorite characters in the show. Uh, but Earned dead. We, Earned. Uh, yes, yes. Earned. He goes out like a champ. Like a boss. Uh, like Negan would say. Um, but no. Like a uh, We... It added more to the story. We now know where everything's going. Uh, we see um, another character return. Another character talked about finally. Um, so it's, it was great. Um, it was really great. Uh, movie wise, this week I didn't re I didn't catch any of the new movies this week, y'all. Um, but Noah did. I saw and Renfield. He did. Go watch his uh, review. It's fantastic. Please do. I live for your love and your attention. It was good, though. You like Nicolas Cage? You're going to love this movie. You, you like mindless gore? Action? Love? How much gore is in this it's movie? a lot. A lot? It's a lot. Okay, I have one question. I haven't seen it yet, and I don't really want to be spoil all, that, all that spoiled, but how much does that final trailer give away of the movie? Because to me, it seems like it gives away the whole movie. I think the first trailer gave away the whole movie. There's no surprises in this, in this so movie. So there is, okay, that's a bummer. The but, setup is like, there's, it's not a surprise. You're not going for a plot. <laughs> there's no, there's no. Like I said in the review, it's kind of like two movies mixed together. So there's an A plot and a B plot. The B plot doesn't work really well. You're here for Nicolas Cage as Dracula. There could have been more of that. Um, you're not watching it for a plot. You're watching it for the gore, the action. And, you know, you guys have seen the, um, the Unbearable Weight of Enormous Talent, or whatever it's called. Oh, yeah, yeah, that okay. movie is fantastic. And you've probably seen Pig and these other movies that he's done. But legitimately, without hyperbole, it's the best and most uncaged Nicolas Cage. He looks like he's having more fun doing this than he has in any movie in a long, long time. It's wow. weird. And the makeup works so well, because it's not just Nicolas Cage... You believe this is Dracula that also may be doing a Nicolas Cage impression, impression you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but it's so good. And like I said, the makeup effects in this is, was out of this world because like sometimes he's super burnt Dracula and sometimes he's all fucked up looking Dracula. It's great. That's it's awesome. So great. Yeah, Nicolas Cage no longer does movies that he doesn't want to do. So I think that's also why we're getting a lot more awesome performances from him. Um, field is it's what he wants to do. Go so. check it out in theaters. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Uh, Anything on streaming other than Mandalorian? What, uh, what are you been watching? I mean, I'm still, uh, I'm still binging Fear the Walking Dead right now. Um, so when Fear the Walking Dead came out, I watched the first three seasons, lost interest. I've gone back and I'm, 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 I put myself through that season four. Season five is okay, and I'm getting up to season six. Uh, so I'm doing that. Mandalorian was great. Um, uh, that's really about it this week. I mean, like I said, I brought my son home this week, so my life has been... Uh, South Park's over. The yeah, six episodes, it's already done for the season. Uh, yeah, I heard that. I did hear that. Including the chat GPT was a very uh, popular storyline in one of the episodes. That's, That's where we got the idea. 
That's true. Uh, Chad GBT wrote that episode. Um, that's it's what if you don't know what Chad GBT is, you're about to. You're about to find out what this uh, is. It's all hail our AI overlords. We are moving into a new world, y'all. It is it is wild. That's so where Haley Joel Osment's a robot. If, right. I I used Chad GBT for the first time the other day to see what it was. I was like, write me a short film script comedy spec. Uh, of me and Wolverine being roommates, uh, and it did, and it's hilarious, and it's scary <laughs> because of how good it is. So what we're going to be doing today is I just asked Chad GBT, i be like, hey, give me a Noah or Bucket movie questions that we usually do. Uh, so he just gave me 10 movie questions. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna jump into these, and uh, as always, if you guys want to, girls want to ask us uh, movie questions, or questions in general, I'll let you know what my favorite pizza is, uh, just let us know in the chat. What's your favorite pizza? Uh, my favorite pizza is a Chicago deep dish. And it's I know I just, uh, just mozzarella, real mozzarella. Uh, pepperoni and, and that good Chicago sauce that we get. Um, I know I may have just offend, uh, offended everyone that's from Philly. Your guys' deep dish is is it's up there. It's it's right there. But I I gotta go with the Chicago. I'm sorry. They use just the right amount of dough. What's your thought on uh, Detroit style pizza? Uh, Detroit. Uh, it's not bad. Detroit also has a good deep dish. They do have um, a great deep dish. Uh, it's it's not bad. Um, but the only Chicago. other thing I want to say about food is loosely related. Watch Beef. My review for the uh, the whole season of Beef will be dropping tomorrow on the channel if you're watching this now on Sunday. Uh, beef is a great show on Netflix. It's... <laughs> A24! A24, baby. Cult of A A24. We pray to the... A24. Damn, it's good. A24 doesn't know how to make something terrible. <laughs> Stephen Young, Ali Wong. We're talking about like a great cast. And I tell you, man, and I, I've said this before, I love the representation, dude. There's be some people out there that I'll offend by that statement, you know, but I don't care. You're not the people I want watching our channel anyway. So yes, it's really, really good. It's fucked up. Let me tell you right now. I'll give you one spoiler. No spoiler. It's, it's a fucked up show. You know, some shows you watch or movies and you're like, mm, who am I supposed to like? Sometimes everyone's an asshole. So, you, yeah. Sometimes it is. But yeah, true. that and, uh, you know, streaming's been good, but uh, the movie I'm excited about, we could probably talk about next Sunday because I would have watched Evil Dead Rise at least three times between now and next Sunday. And that's I cannot true. wait to That'll, talk about that. that. We, yes, that, Ooh, baby. That, that's happening and we will be definitely talking about Ooh, that. Oh man. Definitely see that in the theater. Watch people all around you jump, piss their pants, puke in their popcorn buckets, whatever's going to happen. I hope all those things happen because I hope this movie's that hardcore. I hope so too. Oh, let's dive into these chat GBT questions. All right, so. All right, Noah. I'm going to ask no other questions and then I'll come back to me. Yep. Let's do this. What is a movie that you think had a great plot twist? Oh my God, man. You know, like, again, so some of these chat GPT questions are like set up to, as like a softball. Like, you ever play baseball? It's a soft lob. You're going to hit that fucking thing out of the park for good reason. It's the fucking sixth sense, man. It's still the greatest plot twist in my mind. And so what if everyone says the same thing? Because it's the truth. Uh, yeah, that is a goat. Yeah, six cents. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that definitely. It's my favorite. I'm not gonna lie. It asks us what the what I think the okay yeah the, it's great... the greatest. Uh... In my opinion. Just put my finger in my ear. Yeah, I'm sitting here thinking of other M Night movies. When it's like, yeah, that is the greatest plot twist of well. I have another one. Sorry. I, I have one. another one too, and I actually, it's kind of in the same vein. I actually like the plot twist of the others more than the Sixth Sense. That's the one where where you find out same thing, right? So Nicole Kidman's character and her kids are living in this house. They think the house is haunted. Come to find out, spoiler alert, it is. if you've not seen the others, Nicole Kidman and her kids are the ghosts. Boom! That just whew. that's great. That legitimately, if you're not seeing that film or the Sixth Sense, you're living on a rock. Sorry, Patrick Starr. Get the fuck out of there and go watch these great movies. Um, my second favorite plot twist of all time. I'm going to say a line from the movie. You're going to guess it. Okay. Who is who is Kaiser Sose? Who is Kaiser Sose? I'm lost. The Usual Suspects. 
where you find out, oh, and that was the whole that was the that whole was, plot. Yes, like yes. they're trying to figure out who is who is Kaiser Sose, and I don't care what you think about you know the director oh, of that wow. film. I'm not going to name him, but like the, you find out at the very end, and the, the star that plays Kaiser Sose, but at the very end where he just starts walking normal. Oh my God, what a great the plot usual, twist! Oh wow, I watched the that Usual movie Suspects. Fifteen years. That's Sorry, a great I mean, like, movie. Good, good plot. What a great plot twist. That is a great plot twist. And of course, another real quick go to plot twist that blew us all away the first Saw movie. That's also, that is, when that's he, way up there, dude. That's way up there on my list. When he gets up off the ground and you find out that the killer, the, well, not the killer, the kidnapper, the person who kidnapped the two, has been in the room with them the entire time, you're just like, Wait, what? <laughs> the whole time. My mind was blown when I, like, that's, you picked a great one, dude. That's oh, yeah. really great. And if you've never seen the trailer <gasps> and you show the movie to someone that doesn't know what the movie is, From Dusk Till Dawn. Oh, yes, yes. Because, yes. like, again, you're like, man, what is the name of it? And you don't watch the trailer because the trailer kind of gives it away. But if yeah. you watch that movie Raw, and all of a sudden you're like, that's a gangster movie. And, you know, what is going on? And all of a sudden, there's fucking vampires in it? <laughs> That's a great plot such, twist movie, too. Such a great movie. All right, chat GBT. Give us an next I can All read right. it, so you can go first. I'm going from the bottom up. From the bottom up. We're starting from the bottom. Now we're here. All right. What is a movie that you think had great special effects? These are so vanilla. These are vanilla. I love it, chat GBT. What movie had great special effects? <laughs> uh, let's see here. Great special effects. Uh, any Star Wars movie, any Marvel movie. Uh, it's... You know what? I'm going to throw this out there. I think a movie that had great special effects was Virus, which I we used in the, you saw the thumbnail. In the thumbnail. The practical effects and they used a little bit of CGI for it too uh, cuz it was right at the, it was it came out in 99. Um I love it. I love it. I love here it is. Uh, the practical effects in this spe spectacular. It's practically um, awesome. And then 93's Jurassic Park. Yes. Right? Um the T Rex, holy sh legit! <laughs> that was that was one of the first times. I also really full went on with CGI, and it looked great. The Raptors, um, all of it. it. It's oh, it looks so great. So what? What's your answer, Noah? Uh, T two Terminator two. Oh, um, still blows me away. Great special effects. Um, I'm also gonna go with. Uh, Back to the Future, man. The Back to the Future movies had great oh, yeah. practical, special, like, you know, visual, practical effects. Um, uh, Lord of the Rings, like the first trilogy, man. That's like, oh, yeah. when I watched the Battle of Helm's Deep, it still gives me chills. The Battle of Helm's Deep was some of the greatest visual effects of all time. I, I love, still couldn't, yeah. I, when I, I, The Matrix, fuck it, fuck it all. Oh, Throw it out the window. The Matrix. The Matrix. The Matrix. The Matrix. Damn it, Keanu. I, I should have went right to you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Matrix, I'll yes. Make, I'll make it up to you, man. I'll make it up to you. The Matrix, the Matrix. is fantastic. The Matrix. All right, what is a what movie... What do you guys think? What's a great movie that has special effects? What is a movie that you think had a great soundtrack? So not the greatest movie soundtrack of all time, but what's just a, just a movie you think just had a great soundtrack? Baby Driver. 1,000%. Baby Driver. Any Edgar Wright movie. Uh, <laughs> Let's be honest. Yeah. Uh, Him sure. and James Gunn probably uh, battling now for me, right? Yeah. Who does the best? Um, Wedding Crasher. Not Wedding Crasher. Well, actually, Wedding Crasher <laughs> Wedding does, Crashers. does have a great soundtrack. Left Field, man. You pulled that, that from Left that, Field, dude. That does actually have a great soundtrack. Um, Juno has a, a moldy okay. peaches. Uh, that, that, that whole soundtrack's fantastic. But a great, if you, now, I know it's dead. Don't go for the, I'm not going for the greatest. To me, it is my favorite. Uh, but a great soundtrack, Elizabethtown. You know, okay. Jeff Finland, Jeff Buckley. I mean, it's it, the music in that movie blows me away. It's actually was actually the music, the back, the music is the backdrop of that movie, and it actually is why it's one of my favorite films of all time. It just, it just fits. But I'm gonna name two more real quick. Cross the universe. Yes. Almost famous. Yeah. Oh. Right there. Actually, uh, Cross the universe is uh, one of my go-to playlists when I'm on a road trip. Um, um. I, I love it. Mary and I, we freaking play it all the time. I was not the biggest Beatles fan, but watching the movie gave me a greater appreciation for the Beatles. Uh, so they sing. They sing. I mean, I'm, I'm this might be a hot take, but Jim Sturgis singing "Hey Jude" 
I enjoy his rendition more than the original. Oh. I mean, it's so good. Um, and if I need to release liquid from my eyeballs, which we all do from time to time, I'll watch just to let it be seen. Oh, yeah. You know, and then he's singing, the little boy, and the choir singing, and you find out the little boy's dead. Oh, my God, man. Put it on. That, you need to put liquid. If you need to have saline coming out of your eyeballs, yeah. that's going to do it, dude. That's going to do and it. And two more great soundtracks that I'll pick are obviously Rocky Horror Picture Show and Shock Treatment. The sequel. I love... I'll throw La Bamba on at the end. Cut it Ooh, there. yes! Oh, was it uh, Los... Uh, Los... Los Lobos. Los Lobos, yes! The Wolves. Oh, yes. Oh, those... Oh, yes. That's we can... great one. Me and Noah are obsessed with music, so we can be here all night. We need to All night, man. <laughs> we need to talk about on. music all, all night. Right. All right, so let's see. We did special effects. We talked about music. Now we're going to talk about... You know, these may be a lot of generic questions, but a generic question, you can use that and you can just expand. You can expand on it, man. Uh, what is a movie that you thought was underrated and why? Underrated. Not the greatest, most underrated movie. Just name any movie you think is underrated and why? An under Elizabeth Town. <laughs> no. Um... What What's an underrated movie? What do you guys think in the in the chat? Let us know in the comments. And I want to tell you if you're wrong or not. I'm just joking. I'll probably an do. underrated movie. You know what? He's looking at his thousand movies. He's cheating. Don't look here. Don't I, look here. I, and I just thought this is a movie I just watched not too long ago for the thousandth time. Four Brothers. Four Brothers. I think Four Brothers is super underrated. Batteries not included. Oh, is that underrated? Uh, that's People should watch it more. I agree with that, man. Bat and the Fly the Navigator. But Four Brothers, uh, wow. I mean, you had Tyrese Gibbs, you had Mark Wahlberg. I love Uh, Batteries Not Included. I I mean, yeah, Four Brothers is definitely underrated. And Batteries Not Included. I don't know if it's underrated. People, especially in the movie talk community uh, on TikTok, we talk about the movie a lot. Most of Um, these youngins these days don't know what (laughs) Batteries Not Included is. Okay, Batteries Not Included uh, or Explorers. Batteries not included. I like old people. I like it when old people like okay. find okay. like things. Batteries not included. Batteries not included. Or cocoon. You're gonna say cocoon, and I knew that. <laughs> Jessica Tandy. And what we say? Battery, batteries not included or driving Miss Daisy? <laughs> well, no, because that's not even in the same. Thing. Driving Miss Daisy. Driving Out of left Daisy. field. Okay, what's an underrated movie for Noah Drake Bell? Uh, short circuit. <laughs> no, like for real, the short circuit films are underrated. But uh, I, I say this a lot. I'm going to pick one that I always say in case you're joining us for the first time. All right. That movie's Frailty. And Frailty is very... Talk about a plot yes. twist. Yes. Yeah. Frailty, that's the horror in me. And uh, another underrated movie is the movie in my fuck In the thumbnail. Did you look at the thumbnail? Click on it. Sidekicks. Sidekicks is underrated. Jonathan Brandis, so rest in peace forever. So I'm gonna, good. I'm going to make a video. A travel vlog bi- video of just me, maybe Nerdy Dustin too, if we can get, if we can both get away, just doing a road trip to find Jonathan Brandis' grave, just so we can visit his grave. For real, Sidekick, yeah. Sidekick's one of those movies, when you watch the trailer, or you just look at the box art, that movie's not what you think it is. It's not. <laughs> and it's so it's much not. better than what you think it is. So much better it's, Jonathan Brandis. It's really a coming of to age older. Story. All right, so it's me, Harley, said older movies, Barry's not included, and the last, or the last Starfighter? Last Starfighter. Last Starfighter. I... Uh, man, I love The Last Starfighter. That's Speaking, hard. That's a good one, Harley. That's a good one. That's Speaking a great of one. which, uh, shout out to Aero, Aero Videos. Uh, they have their 4K of that coming out very soon. I'm so excited for that. Um, so Mary said it was just Jonathan Brandis' uh, birthday. He would have been 42. 42? Oh, oh my yeah, God. he is older than. Yeah, I was going to say I thought he also, was. Also, check out Sequest DSV. Yes, if you love uh, if you love Star Trek, it's kind of in that same vein, except instead of them out in space, they're underwater. If you love Jaws, yes. <laughs> if you love Jonathan um, Brandis, if you love talking dolphins, it's everything. Oh, here's a good one. What is a movie that you were pleasantly surprised by that you didn't expect that you would like as much as you did? I love how I keep using Elizabeth Town for every one of these answers. <laughs> I'm gonna say. Legally Blonde. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Yeah. And then... Um, that's a good one. What's that movie, me and you... Oh, what's that movie that we... we On Wednesday, we wear pink. 
And then there's that, like, that teen movie with, like, all League the ladies. No, 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 no. It's like a, like a thing. It's got, like, oh, my God. What's it called? Mary's going to kill me now. Um, it's a lady show movie where it's, like, high school. And it's, is it Lindsay Lohan? Are you talking about Confessions of a Teenage Drama Club? No, Mean Girls. There mean, it is. Oh. Damn it. Sure. Uh, you should. You know what Noah could have just done there? He could have had me name every Lindsay Lohan movie. And it made mean me Girls. Looks. Yes. When Mary showed it to me for the first time, I was pleasantly surprised by how it's, much I loved it. It, it is. It mean is Girls. Really mean Girls. Guys, if you're not seeing Mean Girls, check it out. It's really good. It is really good. What about you? A movie that surprised... Oh, man. There is a lot. Um... Uh, Cocoon is one that I was surprised surprised at. Um, um, yep, divorce. Sorry, Mary. That's <laughs> it. I got there. I said it. He, I picked it. He did get there. Um, my brain has been fishing all day. Uh, Jumping Jack Flash. Whoopi Goldberg's another one off the top of my head. Um, yeah, okay. Uh, Karina, Karina. Uh, there's I could go on. There's a lot of movies that you I didn't think you would like them. That I I didn't think I would like these because they're just not. Well, now my um, my movie palette has has grown as I've gotten older. But when I was younger, I would just give me give me dinosaurs, give me zombies, give me space pirates. But then surprisingly, I'd be like, oh, give me shelter. <laughs> this is a movie about uh, a lady uh, babysitting a uh, kid, and it's a coming of age of, you know, so. If I was uh, to ask Mary the same thing, it's a documentary called The Dancing Outlaw, but I'm going to save my thoughts on that. I'm going to do a whole video on it. Movie that you wanted to like and just couldn't. Oh, Rise that's a of good Skywalker. Question. <laughs> I don't have that problem. I like that movie. Um, I loved it, in fact. Movie, Come um, at me, internet. Come at me. I wanted to... Tremors 3. <laughs> I didn't want to like it. I didn't. I'm a huge Tremors fan. I love the first one. Shock I actually, treatment. Like, really? It's not good, dude. I know you love it, but I it's... Do. Well, okay, so in all fairness... It's not good. The, yes, the story and the acting and shock treatment are terrible. My name's Richard Brian. The music. I only watch shock treatment for the music. It should never have been made. I mean, I... Well, there are three songs in there that I'm obsessed with that I would have never gotten had we not gotten Unless they released treatment. an album, a vinyl. I mean, yeah, Richard could have done that, but... Yeah. It's, yeah. He is right, though. It is a, an awful movie. <laughs> You're the only person that I know that... that watches that, it. That likes it. <laughs> that, that I love the music! It. Larger Than Life. Ooh, oh, that's a yeah. Good one. Um... A movie that I uh yeah um Avatar oh yeah I wanted to like it but I just don't like Avatar that's none a hot of them. take that's none a of hot them take. Uh, I don't like the first one I don't like the second one I'm not gonna like the third one I'm not gonna see the fourth one I I I like those well see I love that that trope of uh said person uh is enemies against said group said person uh becomes uh trapped within that group as a prisoner or something and and then uh befriends them loves them becomes one of them and then he turns and starts fighting the people he was with uh uh last samurai dance with wolves it, avatar is right along with that trope i love the trope so therefore i love it uh and the second avatar uh, it's just visually sexy. <laughs> I mean, it's it's just a beautiful movie. Sure. Um, I guess you can look at a like a nice looking car, but not want to drive it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah. All right, Chat GBT. <laughs> Open your phone up. Let me see. What's in, where are we on? Hold on. Let me look. Let me look. Let me get my spectacles out right here. All right. What is a movie that you think everyone should watch at least once? Like a pivotal? It doesn't have to be pivotal. It just be, what is a movie that you think everyone, babies, your baby, old people, mayo man, snail mans. I think everybody should watch This Is The End. You love that movie too, man. You do. You do. Everyone should watch This Is The End. Tell them why. I love the hell out of that movie. Uh, Mary said she wanted to love Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. But she got bored by it. She oh. wanted to love it, but didn't really love it. I know a lot of people wanted to love that movie. And the only reason they didn't is because of how far off they went from like the real, real events. Like it was pretty next level stuff. Um, good one, Mary. Good one. That was a good one. Um, uh, where was I? Uh, this is the end. Uh, it's just like the funniest movie. Uh, okay, horror. Rocky. 
Are you saying that you <laughs> wanted to love Rocky Horror Picture Show but didn't love it? How could you not love Rocky Horror Picture Show? Um, no. Um, a movie I want people to love. No, um, just watch once. They don't have to love once. it. They have to watch it. Is I've been using it for all of these, and I'll say it again. Elizabeth Town. Elizabeth Town. I really think everyone should watch it. You've okay. ne- He's never seen it, so... Maybe it- I have. I don't know. Is that that one with, like, uh, Legolas? Yeah. yeah. And it's great. It's a great... Is he shooting arrows? It's a great movie. No, he's shooting tears. It's a great movie. What's okay. your go-to? Jaws. <laughs> I should have known you were going to say that. No one ever wants... Because I want people to be, like... I want to see, like... If everyone watches it, especially now, I got the beach to myself, baby. <laughs> the beach to myself. Don't go in the water. Jaws is going to get you. I'll go in the water. I'm not scared of Jaws. Jaws is a good one. Another movie I think everyone should watch, the greatest horror remake of all time, Dawn of the Dead. Everyone should watch it once, whether they like it or not. They could choose to throw it in the trash can afterwards. Uh, I'm going to do one more, and uh, I'm going to go with uh, Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, that is a must watch. Uh, you have no patience to watch Elizabeth Town. It takes well. To... <laughs> I've I've put you through that. Yes, it is, but it's a great movie. Uh, okay, so uh, oh, here's a good. One. What is a movie that made you cry or feel emotional? The Green Mile. The, oh, yeah, it's a go-to. Green Mile. Green Mile all the time. Uh, Field of Dreams. It's I good. love a Field of Dreams. God damn, I love baseball. You know relationships <laughs> so great um, how can i cry to titanic baby i that, did that's it made true. me cry that's true i did cry to titanic i could still probably if i wanted to like cry on camera or like do some i think of that like where it's like a happy slash sad cry where she's dead spoiler alert the old lady dies she's dead and she's going back around she's going the cameras like it's like titanic on the bottom of the ocean and all of a sudden it becomes full of life again she's going up the staircase there's jack and everybody she loved a movie that gets me every time. I cannot, even this day, cannot watch the movie without crying. A Perfect World with Kevin Costner. Fuck, that movie gets me every time. Every time. If you've never seen A Perfect World, I highly recommend it. Uh, Kevin Costner plays a bank robber, kidnaps a little kid. So already you're like, what the fuck? <laughs> you automatically like, fuck Kevin Costner. By the end of that movie, <laughs> Kevin Costner and the boy he kidnapped have bonded. <laughs> And Kevin's in a field dying of a bullet wound from the kid. It's the most emotional shit ever because they're trying to take the kid away from Kevin Costner. And the kid runs back to him. And I'm going to start crying now. <laughs> Fuck. That's another one I've never watched. You've Hold on. You've never seen Purple for real? No, yeah, for real. Holy shit, y'all. Clint Eastwood, Kevin Costner. Uh, yeah, you got to watch A Perfect World. It's so good. So good. I watched Perfect Strangers. All right. <laughs> that is a great show. <laughs> I love it. That is a great show. It's my. It's the most underrated TGIF show of all time. That hang with Mr. Cooper. Uh, let's see. Um, what is a movie that made you laugh out loud? What movie made you LOL? Chat GPT. Who do you think we are? 12? Who made my movie? What made you LOL? <laughs> Actually... It wasn't even Elizabeth so much, Town done. It wasn't even so much the movie. Uh, so when Signs came out, we went. Uh, me and Tyler went with our best friend Trace, and at the end of the movie, uh, spoiler if you've never seen uh, Signs, um, when you find out that water is what kills uh, the the aliens, Trace just jumps up in, in the middle of the movie and is like, "Where the fuck's the fire department?" That's a good point. <laughs> That's a good point. So when you find out the aliens are uh, killed by water, um, you don't bring in the army, you bring in the fire department, and, and they never did that. Also, what kind of dumbass reconnaissance did these fucking aliens do to go to a planet that's like 70 fucking percent water, 80% water? Well, it's just like uh, War of the World. Uh, yeah, War of the Worlds. The aliens uh, can't breathe our oxygen, so like that just is what kills them. Dumbass <laughs> aliens. How can you be... If you're smart enough to travel space, you would have instruments that would show you, wow, the planet, we can't breathe on that shit. We have those technologies. And we we don't even, have those technologies. We don't even travel space. Um, we don't travel space. So movie that made me LOL. Um, this is the end. Renfield. I LOL'd at Renfield. That's, the most rec- that's a recent one. That is a recent one. Um, uh, Caddyshack. Oh. Um... Wedding Crashers. 
Oh my. Oh. I LOL'd so many times during Wedding Crashers and the 40 year old virgin. Yeah, yes. Uh, that, that 2005, 2010 prime time for comedy. Oh my God. The, yeah, uh, Knocked Up, uh, Super Bad, uh, Talladega Nights, Step Brothers. Chat GPT, your, your superior question would have been what movie made you LOL that wasn't a comedy? Like that, like, like The Room. Yeah. <laughs> the Room is a comedy. But if you watch The Disaster Artist, he did not make that into a comedy. <laughs> Which, you know what? What makes that funnier is the fact that uh, Tommy actually thought that movie was a drama. <laughs> like, that's what he was filming. <laughs> You're telling me apart, Lisa. Oh, oh, uh, you just, oh. That's, but, a, that's a movie that, like, again, these younger kids, you just put it on. Like, you just like, hey, fuckers, watch this movie. And then be like, I'd love to see people's reactions. I just want to film people. This sounds weird. But I want to film people <laughs> watching The Room and then watch that film back for my own enjoyment. Uh, the few people I have shown that movie to and had them watch it, uh, and I do. That's how I pitch that movie. I'm like, this is the worst movie ever made. And that makes people want to watch it. Um, and, it, and then they're like, oh my, they're quoting the movie. They're like, that's the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it has the greatest sex scene in all of cinema. I mean, mm, come on, <laughs> Howard the Duck, get out of here. Howard the Duck, you would go with Howard the Duck. Howard the all Duck. Right. Uh, all right. right, what's uh, oh the most generic question ChatGPT could give us of all time? <laughs> what's your favorite movie of all time? What's my favorite movie of all time and why? I knew that'd be number one. You st and you, we're worried about AI taking over. Get the fuck out of here. I ain't worried of it. Yeah, just. Dumbass AI. I know you're listening. I don't give a shit right now. All right, well, obviously mine's Back to the Future. I'll put water on your circuit boards. <laughs> mine's Jaws. There we go. All but right. I, I don't want to do it. Like, that's what we... I feel like we've said our favorite movies of all time every single time we do a stream. So let's do. not do it. What's your 12th favorite movie of all time? 12th favorite movie of all time? It doesn't have to be literal, but just like, you're like, not top 10, just out the top 10. Probably The Quick and the Dead. Okay, okay. That's peak Gene Hackman. The Sandlot for me. Ooh. It's not in the top ten. Just outside the top ten. Just outside the Just top outside ten. Just outside the top ten, The Sandlot. That's a good one. That's a good one. That's a good and one. Uh, what, how about that? I got a question for you. What movie do you quote personally that you don't think like a lot of other people quote? So you like you mentioned like The Room and stuff like that, but what's a movie like in maybe not in your day to day life or maybe, but like. That you just quote. Well, Wedding Crashers, I, I, when that came out and for like 10 years after, it's crazy how old that movie is now. I quoted that movie all the time. Uh, motorboat, I'll motorboat you. Uh, That's good. You sandbag and son of a bitch. I quote that movie all the time. <laughs> <laughs> That's just... Yo, people, you know we can't believe. Jamaica, we got a bobsled team. That's... Cool Runnings, baby. Cool I love running. doing just oh, like... Cool. That's one movie, real quick. Disney, if you're listening, because I know you are, if you ever remake that movie, I will come down there to Orlando or out to Burbank. I will <laughs> Wherever go you up, live. I will go up to every single one of the Disney executives, which for some reason they love to be named, uh, they love to be referred to as overlords. That's weird. Most I of them are named Bob, too. Uh, I will drop kick you square in your private parts. Uh. <laughs> we met Smalls and Repeat. Who's your favorite celebrity you met outside? I don't, that was too quick. I didn't uh, read it quick it enough. It looked like uh, we were just asked who our favorite celebrity was. I did get to met. meet, we, Mary and I got to meet Smalls. That's true. I, I'm guessing, because we work in film and television, I'm guessing that's a celebrity we didn't work with that we liked, that we or met. Just, um, I, you know... <laughs> This I was like good question. Fifteen good question. at the time, he was down here doing a show in Charleston, and we happened to run into Uncle Cracker, uh, shopping uh, <laughs> at EB Toy or EB Games here at Citadel Mall. Um, I remember I was I'll never forget the day I was picking up Quest sixty four, greatest Nintendo sixty four game of all time. No, uh, and right next to me was Uncle Cracker, <laughs> and uh, it's one of those moments like. Fuck, I live in a simulation. Uh, that's probably my go-to. Uh, Uncle Cracker. Wow, that's... that's Because it's, it's in never happened. In a lifetime, happened. I would never have guessed that. It, it's, two times in my life have I just had a celebrity next to me. It was then, and then when we were on our uh, family vacation uh, down to Atlanta, this was like back in 96, uh, Bill Goldberg 
uh, pulled up right next to us at a red light. It's pretty cool. So pretty that cool. that was pretty surreal. I'm so jealous that Mary got to meet Tom Hanks. That's pretty crazy. And then she also got to meet Joey Fatone recently. That, yeah, that. <laughs> I'm obsessed with NSYNC as well. Noah had won tickets. Obviously, the girlfriend gets precedent over the friend. I get it. Not heard about it at all. <laughs> and all of y'all took precedence over me. Because <laughs> I love you. <laughs> no, let's see. Uh, for, I meant like... Mm, We've met a lot of, because we work with a lot. I mean, I have a, I, I got to like incognito meet uh, Hank Williams Jr. Um, that's sick. Which was really cool. Um, uh, no, um, my great, like for me, it's another music one. I got a music one and I got like a, an actor one. Um, Asheville, North Carolina used to do something called Bell Share, which they would shut down the whole city of Asheville and they'd do one music arts free love festival kind of thing. Um, I didn't know who was playing that year and I went for the first time. So I was walking through the streets of Asheville and I look at a guy and I'm like, damn, I, that guy looks familiar. I'm looking at him, look at him. He was a lead singer train just walking around. So uh, I, was like, I was like, hey man, what are you doing here? He's like, I'm playing here. Oh, <laughs> cool. So later I watched train play. That's so it was cool. It's him and his girlfriend. And I remember his girlfriend wore like, it was, even it was hot. He, she wore like a really puffy like like coat, and then every time I watch Almost Famous, I'm like, that's the same coat. That's she so wore the Penny sweet. Lane coat. It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. Just running into celebrities. I, yeah, it's wild. Let's do something here, Chat GBT. Let's see how smart Chat GT G, Chat GBT is. Not uh, smart. We want really hard movie questions. Ooh. Let's see what it. All right. Let's see what it spits out, y'all. Sure. Here are some challenging movie-related questions. Okay. Okay. Hey, don't still, look at them. Don't read them. It's still going. It's still going. All right. It's probably going to give us a good 10. All right. I'll start with number 10. Okay. It's been listening to us. I know. I can prove it. Okay. Okay. All right. First, in the movie, Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, what is the significance of the erasure of memories? Okay. I didn't want that hard of a question. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> I haven't seen a movie in 15 years. I don't remember. Holy shit. Um, it's Jim Carrey and uh, Kate Winslet. Uh, it's, it's pretty much asking why. I, I don't remember. Well, it's because of the, 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 the you don't want to relive the trauma of a past relationship or a current relationship. So you erase the memories of that ever going forward. Bing, that's true. Yeah. That's Okay, yeah. Damn, damn. Oh, man. These are okay. Your question proves that it's been listening to us. Oh. Oh. In the movie, the usual suspect Louis Kaiser. Louis Kaiser so say. That's cheating. Dad. Robots. You cheating ass robots? Oh. Fucking cheating ass robots. I'm gonna beat you. Yo, that that is legitimately the question it just gave Noah. <laughs> I mean, I don't remember the. It's like the. It's oh. you know. Um, it was. I don't remember his character's name because I remember him being Kaiser so say. Um. Uh, and I don't even want to say Kevin Spacey, but it's Kevin Spacey, and he walked with a limp. The gimp, or whatever they called him. That was Kaiser Sose. All right, what's what's the next one? No, I got to read you the next one. Hold on. Uh, I'm, I'm, doing, I'm doing a little test here. I'm doing a little test. I want to know if it's actually listening to us. We have to know how to beat AI before it comes after us, right? Man, with our fists and our love. Okay, we're going to do this again. All right, I'm not going to look... Read me the questions and let's let's see if it, so far it's <laughs> see if these questions are, are what we were talking about. How big is your dick? What kind of thing did whoa, you put in here? PG, what did you put in PG, here? PG, whoa. All right, who played the role of the Joker in the 2008 Dark Knight? Well, hold on. <laughs> hold on. You go from asking us, okay. <laughs> Heath Ledger. I love it. Okay. What's uh, my favorite movie of all time? Oh, 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 this this proves it is listening to us. Noah, what is the name of the fictional Amity town? Amity Island. Where the movie just is. As you know, Amity means friendship. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, our future is so terrifying. Who directed Pulp Fiction? Tarantino. Yeah. He's right. <laughs> we just talked about it once upon a time in Hollywood. Oh, didn't we? wow. In the movie The Lion King, what is the name of Simba's father? Mufasa. Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa! Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa. What is the name of the actor who played the lead role in the movie The Shawshank Redemption? 
Who's the actor? Yep, yep. Uh, what is the name of the actor who played the lead role? Oh, uh, Tim Robbins. Yes. <laughs> I want to say Morgan Freeman. I was like, no. He wasn't the lead. No. Uh, oh, in the movie The Godfather, who plays the role Ooh. of... I'm gonna, I'm gonna, who has a bigger penis, George Clooney or Mel Gibson? Mel Gibson. Oh, Mel Gibson all day. Uh, like this. <laughs> to the baby zone. Uh, who plays uh, Vito Carloni uh, in The Godfather? Vito Corleone. Corleone in The, in the Godfather. The, not The Godfather 2. Just The Godfather. Just The Godfather. Marlon Brando. Just The Godfather. And that is correct. It's not giving us the answers either, y'all. We just have to know. Please no. Well, these we are know. softball questions. Uh, that was... Uh, let's see. Um... What is the name of the fictional planet where the Na'vi people live in the movie Avatar? You know this. He's just, he's just no, I'm really, I'm having a brain fart. I can't think of, what is the, the Na'vi live on? I don't remember. It's also the name of a popular women's bracelet with charms. I honestly don't remember. Pandora. Oh, that's right. You could have just been like, you need to open this box. and. Man, okay. that's true. You would have got it after that. Uh, okay, in the movie Forrest Gump, what is the famous line that Forrest says to a woman sitting next to him on a bench park, park bench? This is a trick question, actually. No, it's not. Yeah, it is, because the actual quote that we all say isn't what is actually said. So what is it, the park bench lady? Yeah. The famous one? The famous line that we all misquote. Oh, because I don't know if it's like, it's not my mama always told me, life is like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. That's not it. That that's like the. What is the actual quote? All right. So read it like Forrest Gump says it. Mm -hmm. I just felt like running. All right. <clears throat> Forrest Gump impression perfection in five, four, three, two. Well, hold on now. It's just, we live in the weirdest times because I'm trying to look up a movie quote and it's giving me memes. <laughs> no one... Okay. You're on the spot. I am on the spot. The spotlight All right. light is hitting you. You need to go. Uh, life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. He never says, Mama always said, life's like a box of chocolates. <laughs> never know what you're going to get. Uh, okay, here's what I want. Uh, life is like a box of chocolates, the misquote that launched a thousand variations. <clears throat> I'm sorry I ruined your Black Panther party. <laughs> uh, the famous quote, my mama always said life was like a box of chocolates, you never know what you're going to get. So, yeah. I nailed it. All you, right, what's, your other, what's you, the question? You, you nailed it. All right. Uh, oh, you asked me that, I can ask you that one. Well, it looks like Chat GBT might have kicked us off. Let me back her up here. Let me back that in front. Back up. that ass up. Let me back that ass up. All right, it kicked us off. All right, so. <laughs> All right. Kicked us off. Here's what we're going to do. Here's This will be fun. Uh, give me horror-related movie questions. Uh, horror, nice. Horror is me and Noah's favorite uh, genre. Horror. All right. I'll start reading them. I'll ask you number 10. Okay. Let's do this. Are these hard? <laughs> That's the thing. We don't even know if we're going to get hard ones, if we're going to get easy ones. Which 2018 horror movie directed by Ari Aster tells the story of a family's ascendant into madness after the death of the matriarch? In 2018, horror movie directed by Ari Aster tells the story of a family's descent into madness after the death of their matriarch. Uh, I know it. 2018? I can't think of it. It's hereditary. It's true. I that. I've, I failed the A24 gods. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, in 2017 horror movie, Get Out, what is the name of the uh, hypnosis technique used by the antagonist to control their victims? Oh, shit. The fall? Or falling? Or what's I, it? It's, I think it's just called falling. I think it's just, yeah, something like, because it's like when you when you fall. Yeah, because yeah, they're trapped. If you ever seen the movie, you, you get, you literally get trapped within your mind and you can't get out. So it's like it shuts off your brain, 
right? So you can't move. It always shows him falling. Yeah. I think it's something like that. I think. If, if, go in the chat if we're wrong and let us know. All right. Get What's out. the name of the demonic entity that possesses Regan? Reagan McNeil in the Exorcist. If you would, if the question would have been like, "What's Reagan's last name?" I would have been like, "I don't know." Oh, oh they want the demon's name. Yeah, the demon's name. Uh, it's uh, pa Pazon, Paz Paza, Fazazo, Fazazo, Fazazo. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. I don't remember what it is. No, it's literally it's. Uh, it's it, not Fazazo. You may be uh, Fazazo. I forget. We have computers all. We got so many computers. We, we, we beat you, robots, with your own technique. What is the name? Of the demon from the exorcist. Let's see if I was right. <laughs> nope. You said Fazazo. No, 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 no. It's because I, it's for some reason, it's it, the first thing that came up is how to summon a demon to take out your ex-wife. I don't know what the hell that's about. Whoa. Oh. Whoa, now. Whoa. Whoa, now. What is the demon from the exorcist? There we go. <laughs> it's using your algorithm based on your uh, previous search history. The name is Pazuzu. I was close. Pazuzu. I, was, I, I think when I say Pazu, Pazuzu. I, I was close. You were close. close. All right. <laughs> I didn't get real okay. <laughs> In the movie Psycho, what is the relationship between Norman Bates and his mother? Sexual. <laughs> I was... <laughs> I was just about to say that. That is very... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. What was the relationship uh, of Norman Bates, Norman Bates and his mother? Mother and son. Yeah. Uh, so Norman Bates becomes his own mother? Or he always, maybe he always was. Maybe he always was. Yeah. I got a question for you. Who was Norman Bates based off of in real life? Ed Gein. Ding, 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 ding. All of them are. All of them. All, All of them are. killers. Ed Gein. The Butcher of Plainville. Which 1999 found footage film Mother about Witch. three student filmmakers <laughs> <Mother Witch>. Logan. <laughs> greatest found footage of all time, psych. Um, there's a good question. What is the best found footage horror movie of all Cloverfield. time? Cloverfield. I just have a soft spot for Cloverfield. Can, uh, what, could the fourth kind be found footage? That's what they tried to be. Because yeah. it's like kind of both. I really love that movie. They have Mila come on and make that shit seem so real. Um, all right. So what is the name of the hotel that serves as the setting for Stanley Kubrick's The Shining? The Overlook Hotel. It's really the Stanley Hotel. That's the, the, the real hotel is the Stanley Hotel, but it's the Overlook Hotel. You want a movie with a ton of Easter eggs? Go watch The Shining. Yeah. It proves that Stanley <laughs> Kubrick faked the moon landing. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> proof. 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 It's proof. <laughs> proof. God damn, this is the easiest question in the world. No, it's not. All right. In the film The Ring, what is the name of the cursed videotape that causes viewers to die seven days after watching What's it? What's the name of the tape? In The in the Ring, what is the name of the cursed videotape? Wait, wait, wait. Now I'm just learning viewers... that the tape had a fucking name. <laughs> I don't know this either. What? Look wait. Look it up. Wait. <laughs> in the film The Ring, what is the name of the cursed videotape that causes viewers to die after seven days? Of the tape from the ring? I mean, is it just ring? Well, Ringo is the... The name of it is The Animal by Rob Schneider. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay. Um, what is the name of the tape? What is the name of the tape from The Ring? Do you guys know it? It had a name? Oh, it's just called uh, uh, Samara's Videotape. There we go, cool. Or the curse videotape. Cool. It doesn't have an actual... Maybe that is the name. Yeah. The, it's called From Justin to Kelly. Yeah, doesn't... Yeah, Chad GBT doesn't have a damn name. Doesn't know. <laughs> it's never seen it. The robot's never seen it. Uh, okay, in 1978's horror movie... Which 1980s... <laughs> which 1978 horror movie introduced the slasher? Michael Myers. Halloween. Austin Powers. Jesus Christ, not 78. <laughs> Halloween. Good oh. lord, that was an easy one. Oh. Isn't it the top two? <laughs> yeah. In the movie The Exorcist, what is the name of the possessed girl? I love how I know the name of the demon, but I can't think of damn Selma Blair. What the hell was her name? Um, the the girl's name, not the actor's name. I know, I can't think of what her name. We just said it earlier. Uh, 
Reagan, Reagan McNeil. Uh, is that it? Yes. Okay. I, yeah. I, I, Reagan I, McNeil. It escapes me. It escapes Linda me. Blair was the actress. Yeah. Um, Selma Blair is her daughter. No, all right. We need true. more. There's horror. one more question. Oh, there is? Yeah. Okay. Uh, oh, what... What classic horror movie features a character named Norman Bates in his eerie motel? Psycho 2. He's not wrong. Psycho 3. <laughs> Need more horror questions. Uh... We'll do a little bit more than we'll wrap this bad boy Hold live on. stream up. I know this is a movie hangout, but let's... let You know what? G you I... do music? I need questions to answer. <laughs> oh, just regular questions. Just regular questions. Trivia questions. Just give trivia questions. We'll we'll knock these ten out, and then we'll we'll uh, wrap up and tell you what we're working on the next little bit. All right. All right. So we're getting ten just random generic questions. All right. Cool. You're about to learn a lot about me and Noah. All right. Let's do this. All right. What is one thing you've learned recently that was that has surprised or interested you, and why? Something I've learned recently is... Don't I go? Because you asked me. What? You asked me that question. Oh, I did. Oh, first it goes, no, I'm you. sorry. I'm looking at me How selfish she is I'm when selfish. it comes to questions. I'm selfish. Uh, boys, again, I want you listening. <laughs> what is one thing you've learned recently that has surprised you or interests you and why? Oh, surprised me or interesting. What did I learn? That the fucking ring tape has a name? That's one. <laughs> That's a big one. Um, uh, I learned that in the show Beef, David Show, the actor, is the creator of all of the paintings in the opening credits. All the different paintings. Again, if you've seen Beef, you know, I also didn't know okay. he could paint. Fantastic painter, David Cho. Uh, something I've learned is uh, if you tell your baby uh, not to uh, poop on you, um, it will not listen. He never even thought that was a possibility before, but he learned it now, boy. Uh, <laughs> you're going to learn today, Bobby Light. You, you're going to learn today. You know, you tell your baby, I got one rule for you. You give all the poopy diapers to your mom, and you give me all the pee-pee diapers. It don't work out that way. Harley, if you're still listening, I'm so sorry. This guy. Um, what is your favorite type of music, and why do you enjoy it? Crib building is hard. Oh, sorry. Crib building is hard. He couldn't do it. He's like, I what is this? Y'all, I have built so much shit in my life. I've built railroad tracks and crossings. I could not. It took me two hours to build my son's crib. <laughs> Wasn't even from Ikea, man. Wasn't oh. even from Ikea. All right, what do we got next? What's your favorite type of music, and why do you love it? My favorite, t my favorite type of music of all time is probably like uh, indie music, like West Coast, like uh, uh, Rooney, uh, Death Cab for Cutie, um, that kind of music, or, or just musical, like uh, uh, you know, theater. Ask me, ask music trivia questions because I read those questions out cheating, and these are super dumb. What's the whole point of it? Yeah, but it's like, all right, give us music questions. Music trivia, not like because music question, but like, what's your favorite kind of music? What music? What music inspires you? What music makes you horny? Uh, who is? No <laughs> he also didn't know babies didn't sleep through the night, and I have to wake up every two hours. It's a learning week for him. Aww. Hold up, hold up. We're not gonna air out our laundry on on, on the live, but you know, uh, no speedos. N Nerdy Dustin offers to stay away. I did last night. I came home I mean, anyway. Uh, okay, here we it's go. All in jest. These are easy, super easy. Who's the lead singer of the band Coldplay? Oh, what's that fucker's name? I was gonna say I. It's on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> Coldplay. Uh boring white guy. I don't know. James John. Oh my god, I can't think of his name now. Jimmy. Wow. Well, yeah. Jacob. I can't think of Coldplay. Him. Let's see. Uh. This is going to hurt our brains. Who, it's, who? uh, almost had it. Almost had it. Oh, Coldplay, lead singer. Guys, put it in the chat before you can type it. Steve. Oh, my God. <laughs> I, Chris Martin. <laughs> Chris Martin. I was thinking of Ricky Martin. Live a la vida loca. What is the name of Taylor Swift's debut album? <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. So it's a self-titled debut album. I have no idea. I'm about to get so much hate. It's called, it's called Get Swifty. Shake It Off? 
Was that it? No, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't listen to. I'm sorry. It's not my fearless. No, I don't know. That. It's not that's my that's name of um, an album. Oh my god, I was kidding. Yes. Yeah, he was kidding too. He got a little um, bit heated, but he was still kidding. <laughs> Who wrote the song Purple Haze? Jimi Hendrix. Got one. Got one. Got one right. One. What's the name of the rock band uh, fronted by Bono? I wish I knew. U2. Yeah. <laughs> Best U2 album, Joshua Tree. <laughs> All right, here we go. Here we go. What is the name of Beyonce's most recent album as of 2023? You're about to get so much hate. <laughs> I don't. The Marvelous Misadventures of Juicy Booty. I, I don't know. I don't. I don't Bumblebee. Know. That's that's most that's not the most recent. I'm not sure. Honestly, I stopped. Bay, Beyonce, I'm sorry. I man. actually did sorry. grow up listening to Destiny's Child, but I, I I have not listened to either of any of them as they went solo. I'm sorry. Name three Destiny Child songs. Oh, I can't name three. Grew up listening to them. Doesn't mean I know their shit now. That was 25 years ago. Who is the youngest member of the Beatles? The youngest? Oh, that's Paul. Is it? I actually I think Paul is the youngest. <laughs> is it? Waterfalls. Okay. Nice. Is that her album? Called Waterfalls? I know. That's, that's cool. Or, or is that Taylor Swift? I don't know why I'm looking this up. I know it's Paul McCartney. Oh, you know what? It is not. That's what I thought. I was like, it's not Paul. No. Well, it's George Harrison. Yeah. Damn! Don't go <laughs> Jay. Sin waterfalls. Don't go it's just uh, that is not Destiny's Child. That is TLC. TLC. Uh, <laughs> uh, where are we at here? Uh, which? Oh, this is a good. Oh, that's an easy one. Who's the boss? What's musician? Whoops. <laughs> which musician is referred to? Oh, I was gonna say Tony Danza. Um, yeah, that's a good. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen, baby, <laughs> born in the <laughs> USA. <laughs> You ever hear his album, uh, Western Stars? Yeah, it's good. Love it. What's the best-selling uh, album of all time? I would say Dark Side of the Moon, but I don't... I haven't kept up with music records in the past five years, so all of you love the... So I maybe, thought it was Thriller. Maybe a Taylor Swift. What is the question? What is the what, best... What is the best-selling album of all time? The best-selling music album of all time. We went from movies to music now, man. And it might it might surprise you. Baby Shark. I'm still going to go do, with do, Dark Side Baby of the Shark. Do, 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 do. I'm uh, saying Thriller. It's the best-selling album of all time. I think it's Thriller. He's going to find it. Uh, what do you think it is? It's Baby Shark. Okay, it's just giving me a bunch of albums. Um, you didn't type in what is the best-selling best album, album of all time? all time? That's what I did. And Okay, oh, yes. Okay, so Michael Jackson's Thriller, then The Eagles' Greatest Hit, ACDC, Back in Black, and then it's Pink Floyd. <laughs> Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon is number four. I knew it was Thriller. All day long. Um, let's see. What is the name of the lead singer of the band Queen? Freddie Mercury. Ding, God ding, ding, almighty. Ding, ding. Give me that. I got this. This next one's going to be super Freddie easy. Freddie Mercury. Who is known? Elvis. As the king of pop. <laughs> I know. It's not. It, well, is it Michael or is it Elvis? It's king of pop. It's Michael Jackson. Elvis is the king of rock. That's right. That's right. King of pop. That's and he always right. will be. It is Michael Jackson. Justin Bieber's coming for his title, but he'll never get there. That is Michael Jackson. Yeah. All right, you beautiful people. That's been a fun-ass stream. And before this, we did an interview. With Matt Tangeman. From, Matt Tangeman. Uh, I don't know why I keep calling it. I want to say it's a Racker House. Racker House. The ra nope. Racker. Raker. Raker House. The Raker. Yeah. The Raker House. I felt so bad for Matt. Matt, if you're watching, I felt so bad. I, you only I, said that the Rack House. Like, I, every time. Every, every time, time I tried to promote this movie, I called it the wrong movie. Uh, well, check it out on the channel. In all fairness, I've had no sleep. <laughs> yes, definitely check that out. Check out this live. Hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of our videos. Hit the notification bell. Uh, and as always, keep being nerdy. You guys, you know it. I'll say it anyway. I always will. You're the heartbeat of this Geek Nation. We always have our finger on that Geek Pulse. We'll see you on the next live video and other videos. Or we'll just see you. We're coming to your house. Whoa, that got creepy. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Later, y'all. Later.